boomers and zoomers super welcome to today's video guys today i will be taking you through a journey that will take us through an apocalyptic finland yes finland is sweden's neighboring country and i live in sweden so this is an insta 10 out of 10 game thank you so much for watching this review i hope i'm no, kidding gotcha gotcha let's do this Today's meat on the grill is a fairly unheard of boomer shooter called White Hell. Now let's begin with the story. White Hell is a first person shooter that takes you on a journey through the post-apocalyptic frozen wasteland of Finland. You play as Jarmo, the most common Finnish name in history by the way. A man who wakes up from a drunken slumber on his toilet floor to find that the world has gone to hell. I mean nothing special about that, that's how Finns wake up every single day. On the toilet floor I mean. However, what is a little special is that Finland has been decimated by a glacial apocalypse and now extremist groups control the land. Jarmo finds himself up against the Order of the Blue Eagle and Red Tomorrow, two groups who hate each other almost as much as they hate him. Can Jarmo survive this frozen hell and come out on top? Well, that is up to you and your skills to find out. The game nor the story takes itself too serious, which more times than not can be a real miss. But there is a ton of charm and comedy in this game that actually really stuck to me. I really really liked it. And there is a ton of things in this game that just screams Wolfenstein inspiration. And there is far too few games that does that, so I'm very happy that this one dared to do it. So thumbs up for that! Now the gameplay of White Hell is a good mix of old school and modern day mechanics. You have access to a variety of standard first person shooter guns, like the revolver, shotgun, minigun and some not so standard, which you will see in the footage rolling, like the flamethrower, and a single shot bolt action rifle without a sniper scope. But what's most important is does the gun feel good? And yes, yes it does, let me demonstrate. So it looks, feels and sounds good, but there is no double barrel shotgun, which would have been awesome. But instead, the one and only shotgun we have works as you'd expect a double barrel to do. The damage falls really quick and it only does a good amount of damage when you're close to hugging the enemies. So don't expect to be using a shoddy as your go-to weapon in this game, because it won't work. The game's enemies all boast different abilities, armors, attacks, etc, etc. And due to this, you might not even be able to get close enough to an enemy to be able to do enough damage to take them down. I mean, it is possible, but not effective. And the game is not easy by any means. I played on normal, by the way. So this forces you to use the right weapon for the right moment. And that makes the gameplay feel fresh all the time. Which is a really nice thing. Because a lot of boomer shooters, they have this area, clear the enemies, use the weapon of your liking and you're done with it. Move to the next area, clear this area of enemies, use the weapon to your liking, but this game is far from that. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now there is actually one more weapon that I really want to show you from this game that is not a shotgun, and that is the rifle that I don't know the name of, but it's f***ing great. Now did you see those crazy snipes I did? Mm -mm -mm. This rifle is fantastic, but there is so little ammo for it, so I couldn't even use it half as much as I wanted to. And there is actually one thing I found feeling really off with the game, and it's hitbox. I haven't analyzed it in the smallest of detail, but it felt like more shots were missing than what I'm used to. I mean, I miss shots all the time, we all know that, but overly much in white hell. And honestly, I think it has to do with games in general having overly nice hitboxes. Whereas if you miss by just a little, it still counts as a hit. If you didn't know, that is how most games work. But I don't think that's the case in this game. Hence why it felt off, because I'm not used to it. Or the weapon's bullets don't fly out where you're aiming. And I noticed this especially from the revolver. And honestly, it could be a combination of both. But it didn't feel good or right. Now there is something that sets the gunplay apart from all the other boomer shooters in this game, and that is the strange Sisu fire mode, powered by a strange energy called nothing less than Sisu. Killing enemies with your Sisu weapons grants armor, which encourages you to use them liberally. 
It lets you use four different Sisu modes, Sword of Destiny, Tick Shot, Barrels of Fun, and Ice Cannon. Each mode has its unique properties, ranging from a big glowing sword that throws out energy waves to explosive bullets that stick to enemies. And they are a nice addition to the game, adding yet another layer of gameplay feeling fresh and not repetitive. Now another thing that could be improved apart from some of the weapons feeling like they miss all the time is the enemy AI. Sometimes they felt a little too stupid, like having problems rounding a corner or exiting a door, which in all honesty gives me a nice break to be able to kill them but it doesn't feel fair or fun. Overall guys, the gameplay is really good. Now it does have its flaws, but it doesn't detract so much from having a really enjoyable experience. The levels, they also felt extremely well designed. You had a lot of verticality, a lot of different environments, and it just felt really good. I was never lost for too long. It kind of gives you that sense of exploring, but it always leads you to where you're supposed to be all the time, except for when I got lost a few minor times but probably it won't happen to you. I'm just stupid, that's all. I mean, when it comes to the variety, you will be visiting deserted cities, secret facilities, and trek through the wilderness, and a lot more. It's just a pleasure to do it and look at it. White Hell has a retro style look and feel that perfectly captures the post-apocalyptic wasteland of Finland. The graphics, they are crisp and clean, with a good mix of old school and modern day design elements. However, even though being crisp, I found some textures lacking in detail. Not all of them, but in certain areas like the snow or the floors and walls in certain bathrooms just felt very much thrown there with little to no attention to detail. But the aesthetics of the game still captures that feel of a 90s game really really well. Even though this being a retro style FPS with shitty graphics, those shitty graphics matter of most importance. It doesn't matter if it's pixelated or completely flat textures with super low polygons, the graphics are trying to capture a feel, and if not done right, this feeling will never appear when you play the game. However, for the majority of the time, White Hell succeeded on this. It really did capture that retro feeling it's going for, but it does so better later in the game than in the beginning of the game. That's my opinion. Now the audio in White Hell is just as retro as the graphics. In other words, the developers nailed it. The game features a MIDI soundtrack composed by Arsi Hakita Patala of Ultra Kill. And once again, I'm sorry if I got the name wrong, I got no clue how to properly pronounce it. Hey! I don't know! However, the music perfectly captures the gritty post-apocalyptic feel of the game and actually made my adrenaline pumping a little from time to time, not gonna lie, it was pretty damn sweet. The sound effects, they're also on point, with each gun having a unique sound that is both satisfying and immersive. We got some super well composed retro audio, but with a modern crisp to it. An insane soundtrack, and the enemies, they sound so freaking hilarious and bad, that I actually came to enjoy it. <laughs> In conclusion, White Hell is a fun and entertaining game that is sure to please fans of old school first person shooter games. The story of Yarmo, the drunken toilet hero, is a hilarious take on the post apocalyptic genre. The gameplay is really solid, with a good mix of old and new mechanics, and the graphics and audio perfectly captures the retro style feel of the game. So if you're looking for a fun, challenging and entertaining first person shooter game, well, heck, White Hell is definitely worth a try. Just remember to drink your beer responsibly, there are no other health pickups in the game. Hold up, hold up, before you get too drunk from those health pickups, don't miss these awesome boomer shooters.